Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things credit card rewards as well as a little bit of personal finance. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to smash that little red subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. And well, we finally figured out what the Q2 bonus categories are going to be for the Chase Freedom Card. And I'll have to say they're much better than Q1. So recap Q1, you know, they have um, the gas stations, toll booths, as well as drugstores which is okay categories. I didn't even get close to maxing it out, but you know, it is what it is. For Q2, it's definitely a little bit better. You got uh, grocery stores as well as home improvement stores. So grocery stores does not, I repeat, does not cover things uh, such as Target or Walmart, Costco. Those are kind of warehouse stores or super stores and not grocery stores. And then you have home improvement, which is your Home Depot, your Lowe's, um, smaller stores like Ace Hardware and stuff like that. Just as a reminder, or if you're new to this whole thing, every quarter you have up to $1,500 you can spend in these categories and you'll get 5% or 5X back. So after that 1,500, you only get 1X back, but you know that 5X back that you get will be worth 7,500 points or $75 if you do a straight statement credit. Now, if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve or Preferred Card, or even the uh, business card, the Inc. Preferred card, you can actually transfer your points from your Freedom account into one of these other accounts, and then you can redeem those points for travel. So you can squeeze out a little bit more in terms of the redemption rate, you know, instead of just straight one cent per point, you can maybe do 1.5 if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, if you're trying to use those points for travel. So that's you know, one big benefit with the Freedom card and Chase cards in general. They're very flexible on what you can use the points for. It doesn't have to be straight cash back. So a general strategy for these two categories, grocery stores and even home improvement stores, is to just use your normal spin for the you know, first couple months. And you know, don't try to do anything fancy. Just you know, go buy your groceries. Don't spend more than you need to spend. Just you know, whatever you have to do normally. But at the end of the quarter, when it gets close to that you know, last week, well, you might want to consider trying to max out as much as possible if you hadn't already done it before with your normal spin. And the way that you can do that is to simply buy gift cards. So Kroger, Publix, they both offer a good amount of uh, gift cards. Uh, Whole Foods, not so much, unfortunately. They have a few, but definitely Kroger and Publix have a very broad selection of gift cards. So I'm talking about restaurants, gas stations, uh, Netflix, Hulu, um, what else? Xbox, Delta, Southwest, some ho other hotels. So a lot of yeah, hotels.com, a lot of gift cards that you can get from Publix and Kroger, even actually um, your Home Depot. Home Depot has a lot of gift cards, surprisingly. So it's I usually don't try to push it too much when I go the gift card route. I'll buy, I'll buy a few, but I'm not going to buy so many where I'm just kind of sitting on them for like you know 12 months or whatever before I get to use them. I'll buy them with the intention on using the gift cards within the next you know, three, four months or something like that. You don't want to stretch yourself too thin when it comes to making all these purchases. So just do whatever you can afford, go for it. If you max that out, max it out. But don't don't try to push yourself too hard, guys. But yeah, guys, so that's it. So for me personally, I probably won't do too much with this quarter. Um, and that's mainly because I'm trying to hit some minimum spin. I just got the Hilton Aspire car and I just have finished wrapped up the Southwest car before that. So I've been on a minimum spin street for the past, I don't know, six months or so. So I really haven't been using the Freedom card as much as I used to. But as I think I'll be able to finish that minimum spin with the Aspire card and switch to that Freedom card and try to get as much as I can. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys are going to do. Are you going to be able to max out this category this uh, this quarter? Like for me personally, last quarter, not even close. Even if I wanted to, wasn't trying to hit minimum spins, I still wouldn't be able to do it. But with grocery stores, I probably could have. So let me know down in the comments what you guys are planning on. Thanks for watching. Hit that little like button. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.